Yo, what's up lads? It's Tom and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the savage, the savage reality of leveling up in your 20s. And there is one thing that you're going to face that you need to master in order to get to that next level. And that is exactly what we're going to be covering today. And I'm going to tell you straight away, I'm going to tell you exactly what that is. And this all stems from a conversation I was having with a few of the lads that we've got in our VIP coaching program. And they all, literally all of them on the call were talking about this. And this was negative environment when you're leveling up. So as soon as you start leveling up, you start basically, you're on a level and you think, right, I'm making the decision. I'm going to go all out on my physique. I'm going to go all out on my mindset, my education, my career, maybe got a business, whatever. And you start working on yourself. You start getting better. You start raising your standards and elevating. And then you start to experience an extreme amount of resistance from those who are around you. That may be friends. It may be colleagues. It may even be family. And it may be conscious from them or it may be subconscious. It may just be projection of their own insecurities without them even knowing. But it definitely happens. And for me, I had this very early on. And as soon as I basically made the decision that I was going to go all in and not, I didn't want to become a bodybuilder, but I wanted to get in good shape. I wanted to improve my health, my fitness, look better, operate at a better level, you know, start a career in, in, in my own business. And I just wanted to go all out. And I was in my nine to five at the time. And I come into work one day and very early on, I have, I have my meals prepared. I brought, in, I brought these meals in and I sat there in the little canteen in this factory where I was working just a few years ago. And that's actually crazy to think about that that was me a few years ago. But I come into this canteen and everyone else, all the lads, all the men in there, they're ordering for any of the UK lads watching this. They're all ordering the typical bacon, egg, sausage, hash browned, butties and sandwiches and they're bringing bags of donuts and cakes and chocolate bars into the canteen. And I'm there on my own, meals. I think I had like sourdough and salmon or uh, another meal of you know chicken and sweet potato and Cajun spice, something like that. Just something that was home prepared to hit my calories and macros to do what I wanted with my physique. And everyone's like, oh, what are you doing, you loser? And at the time, it did look a bit strange. And this is what you're going to experience because I was that guy who was pretty skinny fat, had look, didn't really look like a train at the time, but I was investing in myself and I was going for it. And obviously you only get the results by doing the work in the first place. So I was getting all this resistance Everyone was do, operating at this level. I wanted to operate at this level. And straight away, there was resistance. It was like an elastic band. As I wanted to do this, there was this pulling band, pulling me back down from my environment. And it was, you know, the lads that were, oh, come on, mate. Let's just, just eat what we're eating. Or come on, we're going to go out. We're going to go in the piss. We're going to get smashed on Friday. Might even be family. And I was dieting. I was getting leaner. And, oh, you're looking really, you're looking really skinny. And I'm like, hold on a minute. You're a fat fuck, right? Like people just project their own insecurity because you're raising your standards. So what most people do, and look, you can have all the knowledge in the world on how to get in shape or how to build your business and your lifestyle, but that's all irrelevant if you can't master this one single law of human nature, which is resisting the temptation to not feel lonely and be a part of a community. So you're around this group of friends or family or whatever, and I'm not saying it's bad, but they're all operating at a standard. And as you start doing that and you start making progress, you're going to go through a bit of a phase where you feel lonely, but this is normal. And people get this pull, they're getting these digs. Come on, just have the drink, just have this. Oh, just miss the gym tonight. Oh, why are you working on the business? Come on, just come out with us. All this. And most people follow the law of human nature where they don't want to feel lonely and they go back to the same environment 
to the same crowd, they give in to people please and to soothe and comfort themselves on not feeling isolated. They wanna feel a part of something. Oh, they're all going out and it's FOMO. What you need right now is fucking FOMO of not killing your fucking goals, bro. That's what you need, right? So most people fall back for that. And six months down the line, 12 months down the line, three years, 10 years down the line, you're in the exact same place, in the exact same fucking seat at work, in the same fucking body, all this time down the line. Why? Because you didn't understand how to master this single law of human nature of not giving a fuck about being lonely. If you want to go to that next level, there are people on that next level, but you've got to be lonely before you can get to that level. So if you think about it, you're here operating at this level. You're now here, but the next level's up here. You've now got this distance here where you're going to have to get a little bit lonely and resist the temptation to go back to your old standards of your old circle and get called a bit of a loser for a while by people who are bigger losers than you, right? That's just part of it. But the people who are on the level above or further in their journey, no one's better or worse than anybody. They're just further through a process of self-development. And the people who are on that next level, you're probably not of value to them yet. They probably don't. So for me, early on, right, if we think about it, I was very new to the gym. I didn't know much, but I was working on it. Now, my standards were ahead of the people around me, but yeah, I weren't in a position to train with the guys who were like athletes in the gym, the guys with loads of experience. So I had a stint of, I'm going to have to prepare my meals, hit my calories, hit my macros for a good amount of time, train like a savage to actually get into a position where then I'm an attractive person to the next group of network or friends. And this is what scares most people. They don't like that middle piece and they run back. Now there's a little story that I was, I basically, I was reading a book a couple of weeks, well, probably about a month ago. And in this book, there was a story and it was an analogy that I loved. So I want to share it with you and it relates very much to this. And basically there was a herd of cows and there was a herd of bulls. Now there was a storm coming and they could sense the storm coming. Now what the herd of cows did were they turned and they faced and they ran away from the storm. Now the bulls in the exact same place, they turned and they faced into the storm and they ran directly into the storm. Now you're probably thinking, why are you telling me this? Now the cows is like basically coming back into that comfort zone, back into that whole environment and running away from the fear of being lonely and you end up staying in the same place because exactly what happened in this story, the storm just came at the same pace as they were running and they stayed in that down, awful place of not making progress for a long period of time. Now, what happened to the bull were they faced their fear, they embraced it. This is gonna be a bit of a savage time we're gonna go all out as fast as possible. We're gonna level up and we're gonna sprint into the storm. And within 30 minutes, they're out the other side of the storm. And this is like just saying, right, I'm gonna buckle up. I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna kill it with my physique on my own. I'm gonna grind or on your business or whatever. And literally run through the storm and then you get access to that new network and that new level of people. It's not that there's not people at the top or at the next level, there is a load but you've just got to be of someone who can give value to get into that next level and start spending more time with them. Because at the end of the day, any friendship, any relationship, any business partnership, everything is just value exchange. So you've got to be of value to them, right? And you've got to work on yourself to become a value to them. And I've done this many times in my life, whether it's physique, whether it's business, and there's always that next level, but you've got to spend a large proportion of your time in that lonely phase. Doesn't mean you don't like the people who are on that level, who aren't raising their standards. Just means you're going to spend less time with them and definitely not be influenced by what they say. I always say, if you have not achieved exactly what I want to achieve with your health, or with your lifestyle, or with your business, with your career, with your finance, I am not going to listen to you in any way, shape, or form. Not because I think you're a dick, 
but just simply because you can't tell me what I need to do to go to where I need to be. It's as simple as that. It's just common sense, right? Don't listen to the fat fuck on how to lose the fat, right? Why am I going to listen to the guy eating the bacon and fucking sausage sandwiches with a fucking beer belly on how I should live my life or how I should operate and whether I should work on my business when he's still working and he's nine to five and he's hating himself when I want to, you know, go do what I want to do. And it was only until I mastered this and I just went all out savage, embraced getting lonely and went all out. I, I actually leveled up and you get into a new level. So you have this period of time where you're here and all of a sudden you open up a new door and you're around people. And I start spending time with people who are like fucking athletes and entrepreneurs and like that sort of guy I kind of fit into now. It's like the entrepreneurial athletes, like you're trained like a savage, but you're very business savvy and you're focused on business and lifestyle. And you get into your own environments and you'll experience many cycles of this in life if you are heavy on personal development. And occasionally you'll bring up one guy with you. Occasionally you'll go up on your own. But if you are still around the same people, you are not making the progress. I can guarantee you that. Now, there is one ultimate cheat code that I did discover by accident when it comes to getting to that next level and fast forwarding your access to that network. And I discovered this by accident completely and it was with my physique and it was with my business. And what this were, I didn't actually realize it until I did it the second time. And I was like, this is a very true thing that people need to know. And effectively, when I was maybe 19, 20, I invested pretty much all my money, uh, probably 19, invested all the money I had into a physique coach. I just knew I needed to become a better person. I needed to level up. And me leveling up me was the biggest priority I had at that time. Okay. I did that and invested in the coach. And what that then gave me, which I didn't realize were, I then was part of a community as well as getting all the one-to-one -one access and knowledge and programming and all this stuff. And I was like the bull facing the fear and just leveling up as fast as possible, sprinting through the storm to get to that next level faster. Because obviously if you work with a coach, you are going to level up 100 times faster. I faced it, but then not only that, I then had access to a community of, let's say, 100 other people, all working on the physique, all loving the process of leveling up, all with the same morals and values. Because if someone's spending money on the same thing as me, the chances are they probably value it. It's like if there's two guys in the pub spending money on pints, they're probably going to get on because they both value the pint. And if there's two people spending money on their physique and fitness instead of the pint, you're probably going to get on with them, right? So the best thing you can do is spend money in the same environment as someone else who has the same interest as you. And then that's the quickest way to find people. So becoming a part, and that could be courses with a community, it could be coaching, it could be consultancy, it could be just free courses, it could be anything, right? But that gave me access to then all these people on the same mission as me, some way ahead of me, some on the same level, but all the same values. And then as I started leveling up, people would start messaging me, hey, let's get a session in. And you've like put yourself in the room where they can see you. And as you start leveling up, you then start attracting these people that you'd have never had access to. And you actually become best mates with them. And you build your new network, your new level of mates with the same values aligned. You're never going to get this negative feedback from them where they're projecting on you and it's the most fulfilling thing ever okay now that is actually why we've launched recently it's actually launching what day are we on it's launching on monday i was summer challenge and it's basically an 850 pound coaching package for one pound simply because i know not everyone can do vip coaching and i wanted to make a community for people to get in training plans, nutrition plans, supplementation, but not only that, the community where they're surrounded by everyone else posting their meals, posting their training, posting their wins with their physique, with their life, with the career, everything. And not only that, the winner gets a trip to Ibiza with me, networking, day clubs, training, content, all that. And that is simply just because community is so big and I see the lads in our coaching programs loving being around other lads on the same mission and it's just positive feedback and it's like that brotherhood building each other up and then the second time around was probably two years ago and i was in a really good spot with business i was i, I was just moving to dubai actually um just because i wanted to live here and i was scaling my business and 
What I did were, I put myself in a community. I put myself in a consultancy. So I was working one-to-one with a consultant, but it gave me access to the other people that were in there. And most of those guys were either doing six, seven, or eight figures a year with their, with their online businesses. And straight away, that opened up my eyes. And again, I was running into the storm as fast as possible, leveling up faster than I could imagine. But... Not only that, with the one-to-one, the community then gave me access to more names, more numbers, people that I would have never got to be around and be mates with without that like connection, that common thing, you know, like we're both part of this. They're then aware of you. I then went to a mastermind and you bump into them. And then all of a sudden you level up and then they're reaching out to you and they want to go grab a coffee. They want to network. They want to understand how your business is operating. Da, 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 da. And you start getting into these new circles just because you invest in yourself. And if you're spending like with that very large amounts of money, if they're investing very large amounts of money in the same thing, the chances are you're going to have a lot in common, a lot of value to share with each other. And then you've got that value exchange. And for me, I have got into all my new networks and built all my new mates around doing that, investing in myself, whether it was physique or whether it was education or consultancy or coaching, I have met all of my best mates and all of my new network inside these things. And guess what, guys? You will go through phase after phase of repeating the cycle again. If you are someone that is obsessed with growth, you will go again because you're not content staying at that level where a lot may be. That may be their forever dream. And if you want to go again, maybe one comes with you, maybe they don't, and you might get that resistance again from your new guys. And it doesn't mean you don't like them, but You're going to have to start spending more time alone and and upgrading your standards above where theirs are and you go again. So just to summarize, guys, just remember that this is normal. You are not on your own here. You are not lonely on your own. Every guy feels this when they level up and you need to feel this. If you're not feeling lonely enough, I guarantee you, you are too comfortable and you are not leveling up or you're not leveling up at 10x where you could be. If you just buckled up, faced the storm, invested in yourself, went all out and moved through the chapters. See these as chapters. You've got to go through the pages in each chapter to get to the front of the next chapter. All right, then you may stay there. Or if you want to go again, you then read through, get lonely, you go again and you take maybe the odd guy with you. But you've got to face it. You've got to face your fear. You've got to go against human nature of pulling back in and pleasing people and Just because people say it's normal and the majorities are doing this, do not act like the majority. Look at what everyone is doing, where you are, and simply just do the opposite and the chances are you'll probably achieve your goals. If you are acting in the same way and thinking in the same way as everyone around you, but you want to go above and beyond where they are, do not think if you act or listen to what they tell you, do not think you will get where you want to go because you will not. I guarantee you that, right? So face your fears, be prepared to get lonely, put yourself in environments where it gives you that access to that new level of people who all do like what you like and you share passion with. Chances are, guys, you will not be around the same people forever, all right? Or you definitely won't be having really fulfilling conversations with the people who you've been around forever, all right? Guys, let's get it, let's go. Put the work in, grind. Drop me a comment. Let me know, have you experienced this before? Are you going through it right now? How did you overcome it? What sort of negative comments were you getting from the people around you? And I will also chuck a link in for that summer challenge. Like I said, it's just one pound entry to get into the EO1 community and you're gonna get free training programs, free nutrition, supplementation, community. Like I said, there's prize for Ibiza. You're gonna get resources, course videos in there. I just want to build community so you can get around the people that have got the same goals as you. As always, we've got our VIP and our CEO. I'll put the links below if you want to explore those and we can potentially see if you're a fit. I'll see you in the next video, lads. Thanks for watching. Speak soon.